Welcome to Smart DX Media, where public health, education, information, and our general well-being are extensively considered very important, the best way on how to treat elephantiasis disease, also known as filariasis. Introduction. Wuchereria bancrofti is a filarial, arthropod-born, nematode, roundworm, that is the major cause of lymphatic filariasis. It is one of the three parasitic worms, together with Brugia malayi and B. timori that infect the lymphatic system to cause lymphatic filariasis. These filarial worms are spread by a variety of mosquito vector species, Wuchereria bancrofti is the most prevalent of the three and affects over 120 million people, primarily in Central Africa and the Nile Delta, South and Central America, the tropical regions of Asia including Southern China, and the Pacific Islands. If left untreated, the infection can develop into a chronic disease called lymphatic filariasis. In rare conditions, it also causes tropical eosinophilia, an asthmatic disease. No vaccine is commercially available, but high rates of cure have been achieved with various antifilarial regimens. Kindly watch subscribes, share and hit the notification bell icon so that, each time we release new health tips or videos you should be notified as well. Morphology, as a dioecious worm, W. Bancrofti exhibits sexual dimorphism, the adult worm is long, cylindrical, slender and smooth with rounded ends. It is white in color and almost transparent. The body is quite delicate, making removing it from tissues difficult. It has a short cephalic or head region connected to the main body by a short neck, which appears as a constriction, dark spots are dispersed nuclei throughout the body cavity, with no nuclei at the tail tip. Males and females can be differentiated by size and structure of their tail tips. The male worm is smaller, 40 mm, 1.6 in, long and 100 micrometers, 0.0039 in, wide, and features a ventrally curved tail. The tip of the tail has 15 pairs of minute caudal papillae, the sensory organs. Habitat, Wuchereria bancrofti is a filarial worm found in the lymph nodes of humans causing a lymphatic filariasis called Bancroft's filariasis. Humans are the only known natural definitive host, mode of transmission, most of the infections worldwide are caused by Wuchereria bancrofti. In Asia, the disease can also be caused by Brugia malayi and Brugia timori. The infection spreads from person to person by mosquito bites. Life cycle of Wuchereria bancrofti, W. Bancrofti carries out its life cycle in two hosts. Humans serve as the definitive host and mosquitoes as the intermediate host. The adult parasites reside in the lymphatics of the human host. They are found mostly in the afferent lymphatic channels of the lymph glands in the lower part of the body. The first stage larvae, known as microfilariae, are present in the circulation. The microfilariae have a membrane sheath. This sheath, along with the area in which the worms reside, makes identification of the species of microfilariae in humans easier to determine. The microfilariae are found mainly in the peripheral blood and can be found at peak amounts from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. They migrate between the deep and the peripheral, circulation exhibiting unique diurnal periodicity. During the day, they are present in the deep veins, and during the night, they migrate to the peripheral circulation. The cause of this periodicity remains unknown but the advantages of the microfilariae being in the peripheral blood during these hours may ensure the vector. The nighttime mosquito will have a higher chance of transmitting them elsewhere. Physiological changes also are associated with sleeping, such as lowered body temperature, oxygen tension, and adrenal activity, and an increased carbon dioxide tension, among other physical alterations, any of which could be the signals for the rhythmic behavior of microfilarial parasites. If the hosts sleep by day and are awake at night, their periodicity is reversed. In the South Pacific, where W. Bancrofti shows diurnal periodicity, it is known as periodic. Pathogenesis of elephantiasis, the pathogenesis of Wuchereria bancrofti infection is dependent on the immune system and inflammatory responses of the host. After infection, 
the worms mature within six to eight months, male and female worms mate and then release the microfilarii. These microfilarii can be released for up to 10 years, 1. The asymptomatic phase usually consists of high microfilaremia infection, and individuals show no symptoms of being infected. This occurs due to cytokine IL for suppressing the activity of Th1 cells in the immune system. This can occur for years until the inflammatory reaction rises again, too. In the inflammatory, acute, phase, the antigens from the female adult worms elicit inflammatory responses. The worms in the lymph channels disrupt the flow of the lymph, causing lymphedema. The individual exhibits fever, chills, skin infections, painful lymph nodes, and tender skin of the lymphedematous extremity. These symptoms often lessen after five to seven days. Other symptoms that may occur include orchitis, an inflammation of the testes, which is accompanied by painful, immediate enlargement and epididymitis, inflammation of the spermatic cord. Dot, three. The obstructive, chronic, phase is marked by lymph varices, lymph scrotum, hydrocele, chyluria, lymph in urine, and elephantiasis. Microfilariae are not normally present in this phase. A key feature of this phase is scar formation from affected tissue areas. Other features include thickening of the skin and elephantiasis, which develops gradually with the attack of the lymphatic system. Elephantiasis affects men mainly in the legs, arms, and scrotum. In women, the legs, arms, and breasts are affected. Signs and symptoms, the individual exhibits fever, chills, skin infections, painful lymph nodes, and tender skin of the lymphedematous extremity. These symptoms often lessen after five to seven days. Epidemiology, Wuchereria bancrofti occurs in Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, the Indian subcontinent, many of the Pacific Islands, and focal areas of Latin America and the Caribbean, including Haiti. Bancrofti Malayi occurs mainly in China, India, Malaysia, the Philippines, Indonesia, and various Pacific Islands. Bancrofti Timori occurs on the Timor Island of Indonesia overall, approximately two-thirds of individuals infected with lymphatic filariasis are in Asia. The epidemiology of lymphatic filariasis is changing due to implementation of a global program of mass drug administration MDA, to eliminate transmission. Not only has mapping of disease prevalence prior to MDA led to reclassification of some countries, Costa Rica, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago, as non-endemic, but more than 20 countries have been able to stop MDA due to interruption of transmission in some, Togo, Egypt, Cambodia. Sri Lanka, Thailand, the Cook Islands, the Marshall Islands, Maldives, Niu, Tonga, and Vanuatu, appear to have eliminated transmission entirely, who point 2019, did, despite a substantial decrease in cases of lymphatic. Filariasis worldwide between 2000 and 2018, from an estimated 199 million to approximately 50 million. Infection rates remain high in endemic areas that have not yet implemented MDA, furthermore, delays in MDA in the context of the coronavirus disease 2019 pandemic are likely to further compromise elimination efforts. Moreover, residual hotspots of transmission have been identified in some countries, including American Samoa and Ghana after presumed interruption of transmission and cessation of MDA, more than 90% of cases of lymphatic filariasis are due to Wuchereria bancrofti, while the remainder is due largely to bancrofti malayi. Estimates suggest that as many as 36 million infected individuals are seriously incapacitated and disfigured by lymphatic filariasis moreover, the chronic disability persists. Diagnosis, a blood smear is a simple and fairly accurate diagnostic tool, provided the blood sample is taken during the period in the day when the juveniles are in the peripheral circulation, technicians analyzing the blood smear must be able to distinguish between Wuchereria bancroft and other parasites potentially present, a polymerase chain reaction test can also be performed to detect a minute fraction, as little as 1 pg, of filarial DNA. Some infected people do not have microfilarii in their blood. 
As a result, tests aimed to detect antigens from adult worms can be used. Ultrasonography can also be used to detect the movements and noises caused by the movement of adult worms. Dead, calcified worms can be detected by X-ray examinations. Prevention Prevention focuses on protecting against mosquito bites in endemic regions. Insect repellents and mosquito nets are useful to protect against mosquito bites. Public education efforts must also be made within the endemic areas of the world to successfully lower the prevalence of Wuchereria Bancroft infections. Treatment The severe symptoms caused by the parasite can be avoided by cleansing the skin, surgery, or the use of anthelmintic drugs, such as diethylcarbamazine, ivermectin, or albendazole. The drug of choice is diethylcarbamazine, which can eliminate the microfilariae from the blood and also kill the adult worms with a dose of 6 mg per kilogram per day for 12 days, semi-annually or annually. A polytherapy treatment that includes ivermectin with diethylcarbamazine or albendazole is more effective than either drug alone. Protection is similar to that of other mosquito spread illnesses, one can use barriers both physical, a mosquito net, chemical, insect repellent, or mass chemotherapy as a method to control the spread of the disease, mass chemotherapy should cover the entire endemic area at the same time. Kindly watch subscribes, share and hit the notification bell icon so that, each time we release new health tips or videos you should be notified as well, mass chemotherapy should cover the entire endemic area at the same time. This will significantly decrease the overall microfilarial titer in blood in mass, hence decreasing the transmission through mosquitoes during their subsequent bites. Antibiotic active against the Wolbachia symbionts of the worm have been tested as treatment. Wolbachia free worms immediately become sterile and later die prematurely. Disclaimer. The information in this article or video cannot and should not replace a medical consultation must not be used for self, diagnosis or treatment but rather clinical awareness or public health. Kindly watch subscribes, share and hit the notification bell icon so that, each time we release new health tips or videos you should be notified as well. Thank you.